What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network for a reading of the Zero Link Bitcoin Fungibility Framework. Chapter 1 Introduction and Overview. Zero Link defines a pre mix and a post mix wallet and a mixing technique. Pre mix wallet functionality can be added to any Bitcoin wallet without much overhead. Postmix wallets, on the other hand, have strong privacy requirements regarding coin selection, private transaction, and balance retrieval, transaction input and output indexing, and broadcasting. The requirements and common recommendations for pre- and postmix wallets together define the wallet privacy framework. Coins from the premix wallet to postmix wallet are moved by mixing. Most on-chain mixing techniques like CoinShuffle, CoinShuffle++, TumbleBit Classic Tumblr mode can be used. However, ZeroLink defines its own mixing technique, Xiaomian CoinJoins. And here we see the pre-mix wallet, the post-mix wallet, and a mixing technique. Where the outputs are not controlled by the user, the coins sent out of the wallet. CoinJoin. A coin join was first detailed in 2013 by Gregory Maxwell on Bitcoin Talk. When multiple participants add inputs and outputs to a common transaction, it obfuscates the transaction graph. A stronger variant is, if the non-change outputs have the same value, no one can tell which input intended to fund which of those non-change outputs. Coin join based privacy techniques are the most blockchain space efficient. Therefore, they are the cheapest on-chain solutions. The limiting factor of CoinJoin's anonymity set is the maximum standard transaction size, in which case it goes approximately from 350 to 470, although it can be surpassed, as Maxwell wrote. If you can build transactions with m participants per transaction, you can create a sequence of m times 3 transactions which form a three-stage switching network that permits any of m to the power of 2 final outputs to have come from and of m to the power of 2 original inputs, for example, using three stages of 32 transactions with 32 inputs each, and 1,024 1, users can be joined with a total of 96 transactions. This allows the anonymity set to be any size, limited only by participation. For practical reasons, ZeroLink does not attempt to incorporate such switching networks into its design. Instead, it lets the implementer create the implementer to scale up if the need ever arises. Chom and coin joints was briefly described by Gregory Maxwell. Using Chom blind signature, the user connects and provides inputs and change addresses and a cryptographically blinded version of the address. They want their private coins to go to. The server signs the token and returns them. The user anonymously reconnects, unblinds their output addresses, and returns them to the server. The server can see that all the outputs were signed by it, and so all the outputs had to come from valid participants. Later, people reconnect and sign. The simplified workflow. User provides its input and blinded output to the tumbler. The tumbler signs the blinded output and gives it back to the user. The user unblinds the signed blinded output and provides the server the signed output through the different anonymity network identity. The Tumblr constructs the coin join transaction and gives it to user for the signing. Every mix we are charming coins, coin join, come with a guarantee that the Tumblr can neither violate anonymity nor steal bitcoins. Furthermore, charming coin joins is by no means complex. Its simplicity allows it to be one of the most, if not the most, performant on chain mixing technique. A mixing round can be measured in seconds or minutes. Distributed coin joins. It is possible to distribute these scheme. Tim Ruffling's Coin Shuffle and Coin Shuffle Plus Plus are novel attempts to do so. However, the distributed systems are hard to get right and their maintenance is problematic. 
They require various trade-offs. They are more complex. They open the door for various attacks. Updating or upgrading them are difficult. The implementation of Xiaomi and CoinJoin is straightforward. Thus, existing wallets can easily implement it. The Tumblr is untrusted. Consequently, it does not have the risk of coin stealing, nor the risk of privacy breaching. And so distributing the system might not be fully justified from a practical point of view. As Maxwell noted, I do not know if there is or ever would be a reason to bother with fully distributed version with full privacy, but it's certainly possible. Of course, distributed systems are more resilient, therefore distribution should, should certainly be an interest of future research. The peer-to-peer -peer anonymous communication protocols. As Maxwell noted, any transaction privacy system that hopes to hide its user addresses should start with some kind of anonymity network. This is not different. Fortunately, networks like Tor, I2P, BitMessage, and Freenet are already exist and could be used for this. Freenet would result in rather slow transactions, however. Another advantage of CoinShuffle++ is that it does not require much anonymity network as an external dependency, rather it implements its own peer-to-peer -peer mixing protocol, DiceMix. We conceptualize these peer-to-peer -peer anonymous communication protocols as peer-to-peer -peer mixing and present a novel peer-to-peer -peer mixing protocol, DiceMix, that needs only four communication rounds in the best case and four plus two F rounds in the worst case, with F being malicious peers. Zero Link requires such peer-to-peer -peer anonymous protocols at mixing and at transaction broadcasting. Tor is the most widely deployed of such protocols. A Zero Link compliant application should not use a Tor proxy to the clearnet. Instead, it should stay inside the Tor network and constrain its communication with hidden services. This constraint is needed to dodge various attacks. Elimination of the Tor dependency should be an interest of future research. Privacy is teamwork. The theoretical anonymity set of the mixing technique is misleading. If one user of the mix gets de-anonymized, the real anonymity set of the rest of the user drops. For instance, if one user practices in the mixing through a full node and the rest through a web wallet, the anonymity set of the full node user against the web wallet company is zero. Therefore, it is not acceptable that a set of users using a mixing technique in a flawed way. Transactions and transaction chain. Any Bitcoin mixing technique must be a common denomination. Otherwise, simple amount analysis can re-establish the links as Kisto Atlas did his coin join Sudoku analysis of blockchain.info's shared coins. Since the service can be disconnected, the notion leads to mixing in multiple rounds. For example, if a user wants to mix eight bitcoins and the mixing denomination is one bitcoin, then it must use eight mixing rounds. Additionally, when a Bitcoin wallet does not find enough value of an unspent transaction output, then it joins together the UTXO with another UTXO the wallet contains. If the Postmix wallet would function as a normal Bitcoin wallet too, the observer would probably not prob would notice Postmix transactions. Those are joining together mixed outputs. Since premix wallets naturally divide and join UTXOs in order to fund a mixing round with the correct amount, similarly to CoinJoin Sudoku, it, a simple amount analysis on transaction chain instead of transaction could re-establish links between premix and postmix wallet. However, if Gregory Maxwell's confidential transactions are introduced to Bitcoin in the future, it could potentially solve the common denomination issue. Such techniques is Tim Ruffling's value shuffle, which is coin shuffle with confidential transactions. Theoretical and real anonymity set. Theoretical anonymity set refers to the anonymity set that is achieved by a Bitcoin mixing technique with one round and does not weigh in external factors, like flawed wallet architecture or network analysis. Alternative on-chain mixing. The classical Tumblr mode by Ethan Heilman's Tumblebit and Gregory Maxwell's CoinSwap are not CoinJoin based. On-chain privacy techniques. They are both multiple times more expensive and slower than Xiaomi and CoinJoins. 
For example, Nicolas Stoyeris and Tumblebit. Tumblebit classic Tumblr implementation requires four transactions and therefore approximately four times the transaction fees. CoinJoin requires only one, while Ntumblebit's classic Tumblr requires hours to complete a round, CoinJoin minutes. Tim Ruffing's CoinShuffle and CoinShuffle++, Value Shuffle, and Chris Bachelor's and Adam Gibson's Join Market are CoinJoin-based techniques. Ruffling's techniques are previously discussed, thus there is need not to go in depth here. Join Market introduces a novel market taker concept, where market makers are waiting until a taker wants to execute a coin join transaction and asks market maker to provide liquidity for his coin join for a small fee. A single coin join market side coin join, of course, gets expensive quickly as the anonymity set grows and is achieved plausibly deniability rather than unlinkability. Before because how the maker used their coins after the mix will noticeably differ from the taker's behavior. In addition, join market provides more complex techniques like part patent send payment, patient send payment, and Tumblr. Gibson's detailed analysis of Tumblr can be found in GitHub. Moreover, when Schnorr signatures are introduced to Bitcoin in the future, CoinJoin-based techniques will get even more blockchain space efficient. More detailed comparisons can be found in this article. Furthermore, it is possible to plug CoinShuffle and CoinShuffle++ to Tumblebit's classic tumble, Tumblr mode into ZeroLink instead of Xiaomi and CoinJoins. RFC 2119, the key word must, must not, should, and should not, and may in this document are to be interpreted as described in RFC 2199. Pierce, thank you very much for joining me here to the reading of the chapter two on Xiaomi and coin joints. Uh, or sorry, chapter one on introduction. And see you on the next show where we discuss the Chamian coin join part in the Zero Link fungibility framework. And thank you very much for joining me. Bye bye.